Welcome back to another episode of Master Asian Call. Today, I'm going to try and answer some of the questions that I often get about backlog refinement. Hi, welcome back to another episode at Master Asian Call. Today, I'm going to try and answer some of the questions about backlog refinement. So number one question I often get is, well, what is backlog refinement? Backlog refinement is an activity that is called out in Scrum Guide. So backlog refinement is an activity that you do where the team try to refine the stories that are in their backlog. Now, when do you do this and how often, how often do you do it? Now, for me, I consider backlog refinement, uh, the way I practice it is that I usually like it to be separate from the main event. Now, I've seen some people where they have backlog refinement where it is part of spring planning. And oftentimes what you will see is that your spring plan takes about four to five hours long. So I don't know about you, for me, any meeting that goes beyond an hour and a half, two hours is too long. So I oftentimes would recommend for teams to let's not do that. Do it in an increment of an hour. For a two week sprint, I recommend doing it once a week, one hour at a time, okay? So some people do it that way, some people don't. You can do it in such a way that it is not formalized. I like it to be formalized, so we kind of like the daily setup, so we know when it's gonna happen, we know where it's gonna happen, uh, so that way it's in our calendar, so we can work, you know, so that we can get prepared for it, so we can get ready for it, so that we don't forget about it. So to me, backlog refinement is one of the critical ones that I think you, everybody should be doing if you don't have any way of refining the stories. I've seen mature teams where they don't have these events, but the conversation among the three amigos where you know the usable, valuable, and feasible, the three components come to play, those conversations happen dynamically. And if that's the case, if you happen to be in one of those teams, more power to you. But most of the times we see teams struggling. So backlog refinement is where you refine your stories. Now, when you refine your stories, what are we talking about? We're talking about taking a story. So the pro owner take the story, present it to the team, talk about what needs to be done in that story. Pro owner may provide some acceptance criteria. Um, so and possibly some information that is needed for it, right? It doesn't have to be perfect, just good enough so we can show it to the team. The team's gonna take a look at it and decide if it has all the information that they need to do the work. So they'll ask questions, you know, what is needed, what I need to meet my acceptance criteria, and in this activity, they may rewrite the story. They may help refine the story to a better stage. Now, out of backlog refinement, the idea here is that we want to get stories in front of the team so they have enough time to look at the stories, questions it, provide enough information, ask information, so that they have, they're clear when it comes to spring planning on what to do or during the spring. So the last thing they want to make sure of is that is the story ready for work? So there's this concept of definition of ready. Do I have what I need? Do I have enough information? No, not detail, but enough information for me to bring it into my sprint. Ideally, before you bring in sprints, you want to have a size. So how do you do sizing? So you do a relative estimation. Most often times, you do story points, planning poker. So this is where you know, you go through the exercise of figuring out the sizes, everybody throw out their points, have a conversation about it, you know, make sure we all are on the same page as to what is needed for it. So once it met those criteria in terms of the team understand what is needed, the team knows how to accomplish the work, and there is a size to it, then I would consider the story is ready. Once it's ready, I would say it now meets the definition ready, so it is ready to be pulled in. So we don't need to do much with it other than that's it, unless there are changes that happen, unless the product owner has more information before the story gets pulled into the sprint uh, that changes the story. 
So it's not a one-time deal. Most often, uh, what I do see is I don't expect stories to go into backlog refinement today and be ready tomorrow. Usually, it goes to a couple of rounds of backlog refinement before it is meeting the definition already. Okay, so don't force yourself into it. If it's the story is not ready, then put it back. So it could be that the first time product owner presents it, it is missing a couple of things. Product owner may need to go back and get the answers to the questions that the team asks. Or they may have to rewrite some stories, or they may have to split the stories. Okay, so take that time, the team takes the time to say, okay, let me see if this is good to go. All right. One of the things I caution on trial, I said, this is not a gated system. Okay, don't treat it as a gated system. The story needs to be just good enough to pull into the springs. And this is going to be different by, by teams. Some teams are going to have more rigid. Some teams are going to have you know, more fluid stuff. So it's okay, but as long as the team understands what is needed to do the work. One of the, mis one of the practices I see people taking on, and I think it's kind of because they're engineers, is that they like to go into detail on how to solve the problem, like the tasking and things like that. That's not what backlog refinement is for. Okay? It is just good enough for me to size so I can get it ready for spring. So I talked about how long, I talked about kind of who runs it. Usually it's the pro owner that runs it. Okay, so what does the Scrum Master do in backlog refinement? Uh, they're there to ensure that everybody asks the questions, the team understands what is needed to do, uh, or to make sure that you know the product owner isn't pushing on the team. Okay, so that's what happens. What are the symptoms when you don't have them? Okay, so what I do see is this: if you don't do backlog refinement, as the story goes into the sprint. The team is not ready to work on it. They don't know what is needed to do. So the time taken in the sprint trying to figure it out is much longer. It may end up, wait a minute, we don't understand what technology to use. They have to do research. So out of it, you may have to split your stories. You may have to, you know, do some technical depth stories. You might have to do some spikes and things like that. So it creates this churn in your sprint. So what we would like to do is to say, well, Let's do this up front. Find out if there's any dependencies, find out if there's any technical challenges, things like that. Let's, let's, re let's get better at writing our story so that when we get to it, we stand a much better chance of completing the story. Now, this is not like Waterfall. We're not trying to get every design spec uh, lined up. Just enough. The key here is just enough. Okay? So, the other thing that I've seen is that backlog development happens as part of spring planning. And to me, it just takes too long. Okay? You're confusing people, and it, to me, it just takes too long. It's a four or five hours meeting in a week. That is really long. Okay, some of you may argue that, hey, you know, I'd rather spend four or five hours uh, instead of, you know, small chunks along the way, along the, the week, right? If that's what you want to do, that's cool. Uh, one of the questions I want to ask you is make sure you call out exactly what you're trying to do. Define it. Spend an hour, say we're going to do battle refinement, and then the next hour we're going to do a spring planning. All right? Call them out. The idea here is that your backlog refinement uh, activities is frequent enough so that you have about two to three springs worth of work that is ready to be pulled in. Okay? Don't do it too close. If you get it too close, the team's going to stress out. You're going to get things teams where they can't finish stuff. Okay? So that is backlog refinement. If you have questions that I haven't answered here, put it in your comment, and I'll try to answer it. So hopefully this helps some of you that is trying to do Scrum, that is trying to see how they can get better at Scrum. Uh, take a look at backlog refinement. You should be doing it. Uh, take a look if you're doing it in a correct manner. All right? Bye.